Good afternoon, class. My name is Murat Hamida, and I will be presenting the book A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a novel written by Betty Smith in 1943. In her novel, she analyzes the life of an adolescent girl, Francie Nolan, and her family which live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, New York. It is based during the first two decades of the 20th century. It portrays several themes of that time such as class and poverty, education, gender of sex, and the ability to be perseverant during hard times. Betty Smith, originally called Elizabeth Lillian Wenner, was born on December 15, 1896 in the Williamsburg section in Brooklyn, New York, and died on the 17th of January of 1972 in Connecticut. She is the daughter of two German immigrants called John and Catherine Wenner. Her friends referred to her as Elizabeth or Beth, in this way calling herself Betty since 1938. She has attended schools such as the University of Michigan, where she wrote numerous articles, short stories, and plays, and the drama school at Yale University. Apart from the novel I Will Analyze, she has written several others, ones such as Tomorrow Will Be Better in 1948, Maggie Now in 1958, and Join the Morning in 1963. This story has 56 chapters. Chapters 1 to 6 start on a Sunday afternoon in the summer of 1912 in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, where Francie Nolan and her brother are collecting junk in order to exchange them for some pennies. Francie loves her neighborhood. She loves the amount of love and warmth which is provided, especially in her home. She lives with her mother, Katie, a strong, hard woman who works as a janitress, with her dad, Johnny Nolan, a weak and alcoholic frustrated singer, and her brother, Cornelius Nolan, often referred as Nelly, a loving and hard-working brother. At her courtyard, there is a tree called the Tree of Heaven, which always grows no matter the climate and the situation in which the tree is. Chapters 7 to 14 are about how Katie and Johnny met and the early days of their marriage. In other words, it's a flashback about how they met and how they managed to survive during those times. Chapters 15 to 26 are about Francis' experience in school and how the teachers and doctors were cruel and mean to poor people such as Francis, but not all of them. It also shows that Francie will be better educated than her mom due to the fact that she has more opportunities. Chapters 27 to 42, we can see that Francis is starting to lose her innocence and has started working to maintain their family as Katie cannot work because she's going to have another baby called Lori. Her father has died. Also, a surgeon named Max Shane asks Katie to marry him and will support economically Francis' family due to the fact that he's a successful politician. Finally, chapters 43 to 56, we can see that Francie has started working on different jobs, as a teletyper, at a factory, etc., and in some way entering the adult life. By the end of the novel, everyone is moving to a new life, Francis preparing to attend the University of Michigan, and the family is prepared to move from their old apartment before the wedding because Katie is about to marry for a second time. Some of the themes portrayed throughout the story are class and poverty, education, gender and sex, and the ability to be perseverant during hard times. In the first case, the themes of class and poverty are evidenced in the Nolan family house, which they live in a pure community. Apart from that, we can evidence that the teachers at the school made fun of Francie, as in a way minimalizing her. Also, the word poor is the reflection of Johnny and his decisions in life, and how this affects indirectly Francie's life. In the case of education, it is portrayed mainly on Francie and his brother, and her mother believes that education will save them from poverty. On this case, on this case education is more portrayed as a set of skills and abilities, rather than going to school. In the case of gender, Francie believes that getting pregnant would be a huge concern for her due to the fact that she will give, give up everything to be a mom, as evidenced from different experiences, her mom, Lucia, and Joanna. Finally, in the case of perseverance, I believe that throughout the story, it's evidence that Francie wants to achieve something better in life, as she's always hustling for a change. I see Francie as someone who perseveres through hard work, no matter the fact she faces many obstacles. During the novel, it's evidence that she and her brother go rack picking to get some pennies and later buy something for themselves. This suggests that they are trying to persevere with the few options they have available. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is a very popular book and it has a reason of why such popularity. Back in 1944, 
20th Century Fox bought film rights for $55,000, being nominated to Best Adaptive Script and winning the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Also, being recognized as one of the 10 best films of the year by the National Board of Review, Time and the New York Times. This gave the book a lot of popularity. In the other hand, back during World War II, keeping American soldier morale and high principle values was a national concern for the USA. So, the library section of the US War Department figured out a way to print contemporary books so that they could carry them without problem. They printed around 1,322 books, including fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and also contemporary literature. One of these printed books was, was A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. Her story turned out to be very popular among the soldiers, making some of them email Betty Smith because of her book. It turned out that she received more messages from soldiers than from civilians. Some soldiers also said that, the, that her story reminded them about their own childhood in Brooklyn. Charlie Pierce, an American soldier, wrote, I am a soldier some 1,500 miles away from my beloved Brooklyn, of which you wrote, so I know something of loneliness. Your book brought many hours of happiness to me. It was so human and so understanding. Also, another soldier called Frank Ebay said this about the book. What a splendid book. For me, the novel was of great help to the soldiers as they could relate somehow with loneliness and made them have the desire to overcome a difficult situation such as war. Throughout the story, what most symbolized the family is the tree of heaven. As I pointed before, this tree grows no matter what condition it is on. It can grow in cement, without water and without light. The importance of this tree is that it grows everywhere where there are poor people. The tree for the family symbolized the ability to be perseverant during hard times and the tenacity and strength you, have, you can have. It's a reflection of all poor people and also an indication that you can dream in a place that often demands conformity. Because no matter how much you can get beat, how much you fall, you will survive as the tree of heaven survived at the novel. In chapter 10, Katie Nolan quotes about the tree. Look at that tree growing up there out of that grating. It gets no sun and water only when it rains. It's growing out of sour earth and it's strong because it's hard struggle to live is making it strong. My children will be strong that way. When I finished the story, I realized that this is a story which portrays many themes and also many meanings which can be applied to real life. I believe people should keep reading this book as it delivers such an important message. For me, this message was the ability to remain on your feet no matter the circumstances you are exposed to. Throughout the story, Francie faces the obstacles with courage and hope, making her an admirable protagonist. In relation with American literary canon, I believe that this story should be taught in school and survive over the generations due to the fact that it portrays present actual themes and actual problems which someone as me or as you may face. It taught us about the ability to be resilient and keep moving forward, just like Francie did. And this is my work cited page with the resources I use for this presentation, and I hope you really enjoyed and found interesting my presentation, and I really recommend you to read this book. Thank you very much.